Up with it, girl. Rock with it, girl. Hey, what is up, my buttercups? It is Amy and Jared. Jared, love. Mwah. We are coming to you Friday morning. Is it Friday morning? Yeah. Yeah, and we got a long weekend ahead of us. Yes, so we, uh, ugh, man, let's turn the slides. Ah, then there was light. Now we can see you. See how handsome you are? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, so uh, I let little man sleep in an extra like five minutes to, to today because, you know, his bus usually doesn't get here and we end up having to wait a little bit extra time and get some, an get some antsy. So I just let him sleep in a little, like extra five minutes late. So I'm going to make this intro real quick. I uh, just want to say hello, what's up, opening our day up. Uh, I have one appointment at 1030 today. And what else? Anything else? Anything else? I actually want to take a run to Kohl's real quick. Um, I have, like, my Kohl's dollars I got to use by Sunday. So I want to go see if I can maybe find some socks and underwear for him today while he's in school. Uh, especially socks because he's got so holes in half of his. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to do that while he's in school. So I don't have to drag him around. And, um, yeah, so this weekend's going to be a long weekend. And... Because it's supposed to snow, unfortunately, on Saturday. We're going to have a little snowstorm. A little mini snowstorm. So, I want to just make sure I have enough milk in the house, of course. And bread and all that great stuff. I think I need to get milk and bread, actually. Because um, we're down to a couple slices of bread and all that. And figure between, he's going to probably want grilled cheese, French toast over the weekend. You know. So, uh, do that. Get some bread. Get some milk. Uh, stop at the store, other store and pick up cigarettes for the weekend and all that. So I have all that taken care of. Um, yeah, so that's going to be the plan for the day. Um, other than that, I guess we were going to get this day started. Little man has already packed up, ready to go. Got his medicine, uh, got his lunchbox packed up and all that great stuff at his computer. And he's rocking and raring to go. Um, one thing I did want to touch on, we got a letter home yesterday which I kind of expected this because Pensbury School District is our cut that <laughs> his school district in Bucks County area is very is very very protective of their students and um, we of course got a letter home in reference to what happened in Florida and um, you know about how our rules and regulations are and the security that's involved and like when we're picking up and dropping off kids if we have to and the proper venues or where to pick them up whether it be at the office or whatnot um jared's class usually makes some exceptions because there are children in his class that like would flip out if they have to go to the office in order to go home and whatever you know however but now they're going to start changing the rules up a little bit because they don't want parents in the bus depot I kind of sort of get that. I do. I, I sort of get that. But that's just going to make things a little bit more difficult for us. But you know what? I'd rather have a little bit more difficulty and then, you know, then have something tragic happening. Because, you know, because a parent opens the door for somebody and doesn't know who they are and stuff like that. Um, we actually have a very heavy duty security system. We have security guards all over the school. Um, they have actually a security thing even to get into the building. In order to get into the building, you have to show either Pennsylvania State ID or your driver's license to a camera that's like on the wall before they even let you in the building um, and stuff like that. And like the students, they're being told like, you know, how to park and stuff like that. And then we're supposed to have some kind of a meeting next Tuesday. Um, it's a parent meeting in the evening. Um, you know, and they're going to cover, like, what their protocols and all are. God forbid something like this were to happen at our school. So, um, I actually would really like to attend that just on the off chance. You know, I like to be the biggest optimist. But something like this, you know, it's not nothing to fool with. So, um, yeah. So, we're going to get this day started. And uh, get little man off to school. Yeah, one thing I do want to find out is... I'm, we're waiting for the bus still. And I think I'm going to walk him out because it is raining a little bit, unfortunately. It's always raining. I don't know if you can see all that. But, uh, yeah. Um, 
when the bus driver comes, I want to find out what exactly happened yesterday. Because if it comes down to where she just says, oh, he took his seatbelt off and there was no other problems, I'm going to be a little upset. Yeah. Considering, like, every other school bus in the school district has no seatbelts on the bus. So I'm not sure what the reason would be for her bringing him all the way back home after being already on the road for 10, 15 minutes. So I don't know if there was a meltdown on or he was hitting himself or what. So I guess we'll find out when I get out there. All right, guys. It's awful dark. Hold on one second. Ugh. There we go. Then there was like, um, yeah, so I got to talk to Melissa. All right, apparently what happened yesterday, according to her, she's saying they hadn't even started moving the bus yet. Um, he was, you know, he had started with the pinching, the hitting, and all that stuff, and, you know, wait, hold on, let me prop this up for a minute. Hey, so, um, apparently they hadn't even gotten moving yet, um... And Jared was taking off his seatbelt. But the reason for him taking his seatbelt off, there was a reason. There's always a rhyme to the reason. He was looking at the other seats on the bus. And Paula, the assistant, what she usually does is takes the seatbelts and lays them over the back of the seat. So when the kids sit down, they're not sitting on the seatbelt, you know, and so on and so forth. Well, he apparently did not like the way that went down. So what happened was he, I was unbuckling his seatbelt and taking all the other seatbelts that were in the other aisle and like just putting all the seatbelts down on the seat. And I said to her, I said, you know what, that's a lot of his OCD issue. I said that, you know, that makes a little bit of sense. And she's like, yeah, I'd never seen him do that before. And we were worried he was going to have a meltdown and that, 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 that. And I said to her, I said, you know, I said, I get it. I said, and honestly, you guys shouldn't have to deal with a lot of these behaviors on the bus. You know, however, I said, this is something that we're going to have to work on. I said, and I was mentioning about a one-on-one again. And they're telling me, oh, yeah, one-on-one's probably not going to help. It's going to make it worse. How it's going to make it worse, I don't know. I said to her, I said, first off, I said, no, he's not going to like it. I said, he probably won't like sitting with somebody else on his seat in the bus. However, he's going to have to learn how to deal with it. You know, if he's going to have behaviors, that's what's going to end up happening. And, I mean, even though he, he may be autistic, he's not stupid. You know what I mean? Like, he's going to realize, hey, well, I can't have a seat to myself because I'm not behaving myself kind of thing. He can relate to stuff like that. So, um, yeah. So, I don't know. I am actually going to think what I'm going to do is contact Peter, who is supposedly the head of the uh, transportation department today. And I want to find out what his take is on all this. And I want to find out, like, where we are at. I said, because, like, I even said to Melissa, I said, why I have not heard anything yet, I'm not sure. I said, we're going on three weeks, and I've gotten no updates. I've gotten no phone calls, emails, or anything from him. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I might try to email him. I do have his email address. And, uh... See if I can find out, like, you know, where we're at as far as getting a one-on-one -on -one form. So. Hey, good afternoon. Good morning. What's up, Buttercups? It is me. Ooh, that didn't sound good. We've been getting so much rain lately. We've been getting so much rain lately, and, like, every time I go to hit my brakes, my brakes start squeaking and... Everything else with the rain hitting, I guess, the brake wheels and all that. Oh, Lord. Yeah, so I actually woke back up. I did lay it back down for a little bit, but I actually woke up and smelled the coffee, per se. Um, <laughs> yeah, so. I'm heading over to my first appointment. And I'm going to do a skip over to Kohl's and see what they have. Anything good on sale for a little man. And, um, yeah. It's pretty much going to cover the, that part of the day. And then, I almost forgot, but we have karate tonight at 4.30. So, uh, yeah, he'll, he'll appreciate that, I hope. Oh. Other than that, yep. Yeah. So get this opponent done and over with. Oh, damn it, girl. Put a bang, bang. Bang, sweet it, girl. Dance with it, girl. Get with it, girl. Put a bang, bang. Come on, come on. Turn the radio on.
a phone call I didn't expect in the middle of my blog. Um, the teacher just called me to let me know that my son decided for whatever reason he went after one of the teacher's aides today and started to choke them. I've never in the 16 years that I have had this child ever had him do anything that aggressive in my in his life ever. Um, I mean, to, like he choked this woman to the extent she had to be taken down to the nurse. Whether she's going to the hospital or not, I'm not sure. Um, I and I'm not sure what to do with this at this very point, you know, for him. Um, Wow, that, that's just like craziness. I've ne Even like when he's been aggressive at home, I've never ever had him even go anywhere near trying to touch my neck or anything like that. That's just crazy. Uh, so, I don't know what the rest of the day is going to hold. I said to her, I said, well, you know, did you want me to pick him up or do you want to see how he does? And she said, well, she's like, you know, he hasn't shown any more problems since all this went down. She's like, and I told her, I said, well, do me a favor, call me if he has any other issues. I said, I'll come and pick him up. I said, either way, I'll pick him up after school today. I said, you know, that way the bus driver, don't have to worry about that. So, um, yeah, I got to call the case manager and let her know what's going on. Hey, guys, what's going on? Well, I'm going to pick up Jared from school. Um, his... I, I'm kind of like lost for words right now because I'm not even sure how I should what I should be doing at this point um, he had an incident at school where uh, for whatever reason he decided he was going to start choking one of the assistant teachers that was in the classroom um, not getting much information about what triggered it or anything of the sort um, when I went to go talk to my son's case manager uh, basically the only thing she could offer me was to call crisis again well at this point if I call crisis again we're looking at a lot more serious ramifications of getting help and honestly I don't know if I'm ready for that step or not and I honestly don't know if I could survive if I did uh, <laughs> um, it, at this point because we've tried so many different medicines and we've been trying therapy and trying everything we can possibly imagine to try to help him, to help him communicate more or whatever the case is, I, I don't know what it, more I could do. Um, <laughs> if we call crisis at this point, the only thing they're going to offer to do is to hospitalize him at this point. Um, his case manager is concerned that he's going to really end up hurting somebody at some point to the point where like, you know, we could, you know, really have a serious problem on our hands criminally. Um, honestly, I don't know if I feel we're at that point yet. I, I mean, I don't know to what extent what happened today. I'm getting like bits and pieces. There's not anything telling me one way or another what's going on. Um... So I'm kind of like lost right now for words and like my case manager, she wants me to jump right on the horn and call this, call that one. And, you know, making these phone calls is kind of a last ditch effort. It is the very last straw. And I can't imagine sitting there and 302 my son. I just, it's not even in my thoughts right now. I just don't know what else to do at this point. I really don't. I feel like I'm kind of trapped between a rock and a hard place right now because the only thing they're going to offer my son is a three-day vacation in a mental hospital at this point. And I just don't feel like he's ready for that kind of a step. I, I just, honestly, I think it's going to make things worse for him. And... <laughs> He's already lost his dad. He's lost his grandmother. He's lost his aunt. Not even within the last six months. And then getting hospitalized and then losing his mom on top of it is not going to be a good thing for him. And they think he's going not so male. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I, I just don't even want to imagine like how he must be feeling. It's, I think, what's upsetting me more than anything. 
I want to be able to try to get out of him what's going on and why he's acting out the way he is. And, and it's just, I feel like I'm hitting a brick wall. I really do. Um, I'm sorry, I'm like, all. Oh. <laughs> it's been a really, really rough day. And then just dealing with this in general, it's just been, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else to do at this point. Other than smoke a cigarette. <laughs> That's about all I can think of right now. And I'll be honest with you. If they end up hospitalizing him and they cannot get him in a certain, I guess, containment as far as mentally, like as far as getting control of his own emotions and whatnot, you know, a three-day vacation may turn into something a hell of a lot longer. And that is my biggest concern right now. And honestly, I just, I... I don't even want to put a thought into it, to be totally honest with you, because it, the thought of it just terrifies me. And I'll be honest, if something were like that to happen, I don't think I would survive it. I really don't. I don't think mentally, physically, emotionally, I could survive it at this point. I have gone through too much. I have tried too hard to help, and I've tried so hard to be a good mother to him and trying to be make sure he's okay all the time and being protective of him. I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I, I have no idea. All I know is that I, I'm, I'm just in a really big fear of losing my son right now because of all this. And it just seems like things are not getting better. They just keep getting progressively worse day for day. And I just, I, I just don't know what to do at this point. But I'm sorry I'm boohooing all over my blog, but it's like, I don't, I don't even know who else to talk to at this point. And I just feel like maybe by like posting this on my blog, maybe hopefully I might get a suggestion from somebody or maybe even somebody else could like understand what I'm going through. I just, I'm sure there are other parents out there that have dealt with the similar issues that I'm dealing with right now. I can, I, I, you know, I know, but I just, I, I just feel like I'm losing control of the whole situation right now, and I just, I just really don't know what to do. I'm just hoping and praying things are going to start getting better, but I can hope and pray all I want, but it's just, it's not working. It's... <laughs> I don't know if there's something I'm missing out on, something I'm not doing right. I mean, we've tried so much with him and so many medications and the medications that he's taking is not helping. It's making him worse and making his behaviors worse. I mean, we've tried everything from stimulants to non-stimulants, ADHD medications, antipsychotics. We've tried... Uh, mood stabilizers. I mean, we've tried so much with him and none of it seems to be helping. Even the 10X we thought that was possibly helping him, that is not doing any well either. I mean, we were on it for a week and it just made things so much worse behavior-wise. Um, and so I, at this point, I don't even know what a hospital would be able to offer at this point if he was hospitalized because any other medicine that he's ever tried to be on, it made things worse. So what, are we going to sit there and give him medication that's just going to make him a complete zombie and that's the way they're going to resolve everything? That's not a way of life for him at all. It's, it's just craziness. <laughs> hey guys. Well, we are both home and, uh, it's been a lot longer of a day than I expected it to be, to be honest with you. It, it was one of those days from hell, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> honestly, since Jared's been home, um, still very antsy, kind of all over the place like he normally is, but nothing that's not manageable. So that's a plus, at least. Um, but, you know, it's come down to now where I had to call the local crisis center here and now they have to get the county involved, and it's just, it, it's going to be a very long road, I have a feeling. Um, yeah. Wonderful way to end my 
my uh, 30 day challenge, I guess, right? Uh, I got it. Unfortunately, ended on a down note. Um, I'm going to end my vlog tonight. Um, we're not definitely not exiting the way we normally do. Um, I don't necessarily expect you to click a like, subscribe, and all that stuff for this video, that's for sure. It's just been very, one hell of a shit day, it really has. And um, all I can hope for is things are going to hopefully start getting better from here on in. That's all I can hope for and pray for that something's bound to get better soon, you know. Um, yeah, Matthew came over tonight and was working with Jared for about two hours and he filled the rest of his hours for the week and everything. And, you know, thank God he at least came out and was able to be a little helpful, you know. Um, but as far as like anything else goes, like the last phone call I got was from a woman from Crisis, you know, pretty much telling me, well, since it's the weekend, there's nothing that they can really come up with. Like, that's a huge help. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, all right, so I got to go through the next two, three days, actually three days because he has off on Monday for President's Day. Um, so yet another change in his schedule that can just like kind of set him off, God forbid. Um, yeah, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen at this point. It's not looking good for me to be able to go to work anymore. So, um, might come to the point where I might have to tell my job I had to take a leave of absence because I don't even know if I'm going to be able to send him to school anymore. After today, it was really bad. And I, I'm sorry I keep crying over this, but it's like, you know, it's never gotten to the point where it's gotten this bad ever. I just, I'm kind of like lost in what to do at this point. And um, I'm just hoping that things are going to start getting better or we'll find some kind of resolution. I don't know. I, I don't know what's going to happen next. So, at this point, I guess we'll see where the rest of the weekend takes us. I don't know. I, I don't know how much I'll be vlogging this weekend or not. I, I really don't. I just want to be able to end tonight. Kind of get a little closure to what, what happened this afternoon. When I shut up the video earlier, um, one of the people from the school, one, uh, this gentleman, Peter, who kind of runs a lot of the stuff over there and helps out in the guidance office and stuff like that, he happened to have been finishing his lunch in the car <laughs> and saw me pull up and he, he like kind of walked over the car and started talking to me and that's why I had turned off the vlog. Um, but basically we just kind of like went over what happened today and everything else and I'm still not getting solid answers. I mean, I'm finding out stuff that happened this week that no one bothered contacting me about, emailing me about nothing. Like, I mean, ap apparently like Monday when we had the problem with the sleeping issue, and he was up at 1.30 in the morning. He went to school that day. Well, with him going to school that day, apparently he had a couple of real bad meltdowns. But no one bothered to call me and tell me about it. They just kind of let the whole thing go through. Like, oh, well. And I'm like, and, and the teacher full well knew I was off all this week. So there was no excuse for her not to call me. Um, yeah, apparently he had a meltdown at a point. He threw himself on the floor, started kicking and screaming. And the assistant principal of the school was actually in the school room at that point and went over to try to, you know, see if there was a way he could assist or help. Jared reached out and started pulling his hair. The assistant principal. But they didn't feel the need to tell me about that. Uh, Wednesday, apparently, he had another little meltdown where he went after somebody and he started hitting somebody. Nobody told me about that. I asked this teacher every day that I see her or email her or whatever, how are things going? How is his behavior doing? And I get, oh, yeah, he's fine. A few little things here and there, nothing big. Well, I'm sorry. You know, my son going after the assistant principal, that considers me, that that that, that, that strikes me as kind of big, <laughs> you know? It, it, again, it's coming down to horrible, horrible communication problems. Like, no one talks to each other and no one informs anybody of anything. Like, may not have been necessarily anything that I could have done to help, but you know what? Why wouldn't you contact the parent to let them know what's going on? If that was a typical child that went after the assistant principal like that, they would have thrown his butt in a cop car and then and then decided to call me. You know, but these people didn't even bother calling me. They didn't do anything. They didn't, uh, it, there was nothing done about it. It just kind of went through the day and that was it, you know, and it, it just, it frustrates me beyond belief that, you know, the communication level is still at an all time low still and I just it's so horribly frustrating and honestly 
if he, if he goes to school on Tuesday. I have to see how his weekend's going to go. Because I'm supposed to work Tuesday and Wednesday. Guess what? If this behavior continues all weekend long, ain't going to happen. I'm not going to be sending him to school because I'm not risking him hurting somebody. So we got to see where the rest of the weekend takes us. I mean, I, I don't know at this point. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. So, um, and this week it's going to be a trip because it's supposed to snow tomorrow. And yeah, that's going to be fun having him stuck in the house all day. That's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see where the rest of the weekend takes us. I guess, I'd, like I said, I don't know how much blogging I'm going to get done over the weekend. To be honest with you, no offense. I love that my channel, I love all my subscribers and the friends that I've gained over, over the last month. It's been great, but if I can't vlog, I can't vlog. There's just nothing I can do about it. So, um, but the only thing I could do is maybe give a little five minute updates and that's about it. You know, so, um, we'll see what the weekend takes us and I'll try to keep you all apprised of what's going on. So, uh, well, we'll see what the weekend takes us. That's all I can do. So, everyone, be safe, be good, have a good night, and I'll hopefully see y'all later. Me and you, girl, you and me. Tap it to the floor and make me see your energy because me not play no hide and seek. What is the thing you ever make me feel, me girl? Free. Why anytime you whine and catch it, this electric bullet up and put it for a big girl.